Good evening, guys. Welcome to another episode of Bedtime Stories with Miss Austin. Uh, I hope you had a great day at school today. Um, this month is October, and we're talking about anti-bullying. And so all of the stories I'll be sharing with you this month are about bullying, how to tell if someone is being a bully, what to do if you are being bullied, what to do if you see someone else being bullied. And my first story is Weird by Erin Frankel, and it's about a little girl that um, children are calling names. And it talks about how she begins to feel about herself and um, about learning to stand up for yourself and knowing what to do if someone is calling you names or picking on you. So this is weird. Hi, my name is Louisa and I have a problem. There's a girl in my class named Sam who thinks that everything I do is weird. I raise my hand to answer a question in math and she says, I'm weird. I guess I'll keep my answers to myself. I try telling a funny joke at lunch and she says, I'm weird. I guess I'll just be quiet. I say something in Spanish to my dad and she says, I'm weird. Guess it's hi dad from now on. I wear my favorite polka dot boots and she says, I'm weird. I guess I won't wear those anymore. It's strange, I keep changing what I do, but she doesn't change at all. She still says I'm weird. It seems like weird is the only word she knows, and I don't know any words. Who should I talk to? What will I say? What did I do to deserve this? I wish it would all just go away. Mom, I have a problem. There's this girl at school who is so mean to me. It's not your fault, Louisa. You are wonderful just the way you are. So that's the first really good thing Louisa did. She told her mom about the bully at her school. That's important. After talking to mom, I've been thinking, maybe it's time for one more change. I found your boots. Love those polka dots, Louisa. Thanks. Cute boots, Louisa. So I put my favorite polka dot boots back on, only this time. Before Sam could say anything, I said, boy, it feels great to be back in these again. I told another funny joke at lunch and laughed along with my friends. And when she said weird, I kept on laughing. It looks like somebody thinks it's funny. I didn't hide my feelings when I got the right answer in math. Yes, I finally got it right. I told my dad I loved him in Spanish. I let my mom know how happy I was to see her when she picked me up from school. See you later, Sam. I discovered something really amazing. The more I act like I don't care what she says, the more I really don't care. And the more she thinks I don't care, the more she leaves me alone. Now, that's really weird. I guess I'll just be me from now on. So Louisa learns that she can't change Sam when Sam calls her names, but she can choose to be herself even though Sam's unkind. And Louisa does a really important thing and tells her parents what's happening at school, which is very, very important. If someone is being unkind to you and it makes you feel bad, you need to let a grown up know so you can get some help. With that, I hope you have sweet dreams and I'll see you at school tomorrow.